It's another day of trash picking and another day where I'm trying desperately to figure out my audio issues on my camera. But let's see. Are these a thing? You ever seen anything like this? This bottle owned and filled by Vanna Incorporated of Chicago. I don't know. They're like spray bottles, like for a clown. All right. We'll take them. It's a way to start the day. It's been kind of rough trying to record today because too many people out and about. But we'll give it a try here. Do you want some paintings? I don't know. One's a little bit poked in the middle. What's in this box? Nothing. This looks interesting. General radio power supply. I guess we could take that. Put it right there next to those glass bottles. Let's see. An old coffee urn. And, oh I see. There's more parts of the radio. And I think here's even more parts for the radio. And here's probably the cabinet for the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Inspector gadgets on the case. All right, I think I'll take the power supply and leave the rest of these parts. I got a buddy who's a radio aficionado and he'll probably be excited about that. But that's small enough to put on eBay, isn't it? Sure it is. I've been having a hard time recording today because there's a lot of people around. See, I found two bikes and I couldn't even, couldn't even record it, but Here's a big box of orange spaghetti. At least we can get some footage out of that, I guess. These things don't even look like they're damaged. They probably just couldn't sell them at their yard sale yesterday, so maybe I'll keep them. But yeah, that's the load so far. We got the GMC Denali and the Motive. And you know, we've only been here half an hour, so. There's a little Tonka truck. I'm not sad. The pickers are out in full force. But I guess that includes me too, right? I'm a picker. A trash picker. Anyway, this pile's been cleaned out, but I wanted to see if anyone left anything in this toolbox. Wow. I guess, uh, no they didn't. Sure is a nice day. What do you think? $12.99 at TJ Maxx. Ah, uh, it's got a chip. I kind of liked this from far away. But up close, it's really just flimsy. This is an interesting thing, though. What do you think it is? Is it like... Yeah, that's a good thing. Put duct tape on your furniture. Thomasville. Hmm. Should I take that? I just don't really know what it's supposed to be. I guess it's just a table, right? With a secret cubby hole. You know what? I'll think about it, 
and uh, then it'll be gone later and I won't have to think about it again. Well, anyone can change their mind. And after a quick eBay search, I think that it's in my best interest to put this big, stupid piece of mystery furniture in my car where it takes three quarters of the back seat. Hope I made the right decision. This thing's rocking back and forth, teetering on the precipice, and look what happens when I hit the brakes. So we're gonna have to do something about that. All right. Let's see what we got here. Looks like an old cowboy guitar. Global. Uh, I know it's free, but I don't think we really want it. But I think we do want that. A snap-on grinder, I'll take it. It's one thing to have a big stupid piece of furniture taking up three quarters of the back seat. But it's another thing when that furniture has a mind of its own and could come over here and crush everything, including this box, which is where I keep the camera when I'm not using it. So, look at these bikes. Did a little reconfiguring, and now whatever this thing is, it's behind the driver's seat. So if I stomp on the brakes, it might decapitate me, but it won't break my camera. And uh, that's good. All right, I see a couple of boxes over here that look like kids' games from the 70s. So let's see what we got cooking. The game of life. All right. How about a jigsaw puzzle? Wow. This is so not 2020. A bunch of white kids giving the Pledge of Allegiance. Jeez. It's still sealed though. Somebody might want to put that together. little bingo game. Gotta be honest, this uh, this pile kind of sucks. I thought it was gonna be better. I guess they can keep their puzzle. And who does puzzles, right? I would do this puzzle though. Look, it's a little chipmunk. Aww. I wasn't gonna record, but you gotta see this. Somebody took a carburetor, made it into a lamp. Oh, we're taking that. Where do we put it, though? Let's see what else they have that I can't resist. Christmas lights. A couple of wires. Look at that adorable face. Trash picking and finding raccoons in the trash. It's true. Hmm. Do we want VHS tapes? I do, but I'm not going to take them. Because let's face it, they just don't really sell. I have on one glove. You know, I got a little wide-angle lens for the camera, but it didn't really work out. So we're back to the stock lens. This isn't that heavy. What about this chain? That's got some weight to it. That was a pretty good shot. Anything else here? And yeah, we got some pipes. That'll fit in there. And anything else? Nah, it's all a little bit too long. Ooh, ooh, here's the eagle eye. 
Look at that. These tiny little adorable sash weights. Have you ever seen such small sash weights? They're like six inches long. Wow, they don't want to cooperate. I'm not going to do two trips. I'm getting them all in my hand, no matter what I have to do. Got them. Trash picking and fighting with sash weights. That's what we do and it's very satisfying. I'm getting out at this pile just because I don't feel like getting out of the car. And I think that's a bad place to be. So let's see what we got right here. Mm. Lampy Lamperson. Think anyone will buy that? I don't. That's probably the battery that went to it too. I don't know. It's interesting looking. So let's throw it in the car. There, right next to the carburetor lamp. Let's see what else we have here. Hmm. Some adorable little garden tools. No. No. Dot board. I wonder why that dartboard is wrapped up like that. Is that brand new? Is that a mint and packaged dartboard? Yeah. I think they can keep it. All right, so there was a reason I didn't want to get out here, and I guess I was right. But I'm glad I got out. My legs are stiff. I need the exercise. But I'm starting to get bored. Zzz. Looks like there's a big sheet of copper across the street. So let's go and see if there's a big sheet of copper across the street. There you go, magnet. Wow. Oh my goodness. I think we're going to have to make two or more trips. Hmm. All right. Just between you and me. I was gonna drive right past this pile. Cause the brake rotor's like in a bucket so I couldn't see them. These things are huge. I think I can take both at once. Maybe. Wow. I feel like such a failure that I can only hoist one brake rotor at a time. And I'm huffing and puffing too. All right, what if I take some other pieces while I take the brake rotors? Try not to put any more divots in this guy's lawn. Ugh. Let's see. Anything else? While we're here, might as well get these saw blades. I mean lawnmower blades. There, we'll need up his pile. Do you want the teddy bear? No, I think we're fine. Really? You know how hard it is for me to reach down and pick that up? All right. 
that was a nice little score. You don't find sheets of copper very often. But when you do, you put them in the trunk. I might end up looking a little weird with this camera right now, but I don't care because I see a really interesting thing in the back of this pile. Look at this thing. Wow. Do we want this? It's a bird bath. It's made out of aluminum. It's like, how much can we realistically get for it? Hmm. That's gonna take a lot of room in the car too. Nothing in the tub. Aw. Isn't that adorable? So what do you think? Take the big stupid fountain, not take the big stupid fountain. Disassemble the big stupid fountain and then take it. What's in here? Oh no. Oh. I promised myself I wasn't gonna take any more bocce balls, but when have you ever seen bocce balls that are all different colors like this? All right, I won't bore you with the bocce ball transportation uh, portion of the video. So I'll see it in a minute when I make my decision about that fountain. So I'm looking at the trunk and the bikes and the fountain. I don't think I'm gonna take the fountain, but look at this, a whole bag of puppy food. Isn't that adorable? That's food for puppies. And it's best by April 21, 2022. So I think we'll take this and give it to the give it to the puppy shelter. Of course, if today keeps going the way it's going. I might have to eat it myself for dinner. I won't be able to afford pizza. Nah, I am hope that never happens. Oh my God. Here's something that you probably shouldn't do with bare hands, but I'm a professional. You can do this with bare hands. This is just a pipe. But you shouldn't grab this with bare hands. You could cut yourself up, so be careful. And what I'm about to do, you can't really do with bare hands unless you're real strong. That's why you have to get these wire cutters. Then you come back here and cutty cutterson, clippy clipperson. Here's another one. I just saw another picker with a load, a load of BX in his truck. I think he's like the only other guy who's out here scrapping today. And uh, I hate to admit it, but he's totally out scrapping me. It's not to say that I'm sad about this load though. It's a nice load of scrap. He just has a nicer load. I'm gonna say no way. There's no way that this thing is in the thing. A 50 kilogram chrome barbell and dumbbell set. Is it in there? You wanna find out? <laughs> Wow. You know, I like being right, but this time I wish I wasn't right. Dang it. Look at this sad, lonely fireplace grate over here. This is their entire pile. 
I think this fireplace grate needs a better life. Ouch, that didn't work out too well. So uh, yeah, now it doesn't have to be sad and lonely anymore and it can be shipped off to China and turned into like um, some rollerblades. Do they make those out of steel? I don't know. I think these brake rotors are like the complete opposite of that fireplace grate. Look at how much stuff is in this pile. I'm not gonna dig through it because I know this pile is kind of a crappy pile. But these rotors had a lot of company in their pile. They weren't all lonesome. And now they're in good company in the trunk. I guess it's gonna be one of those days where we find a lot of brake rotors. Cause here's more. More brake rotors. Did I pop the trunk? I did. Or we're on a hill, so the trunk don't want to stay open. This guy always throws out a lot of car parts, though. So we'll have to check back on our next trip around town. But now we got to figure out how to get this to stay open. All right. Is that what we're doing? Is this how we're going to do it? Nope. All right. Stay. Oh, here's what we'll do. Use one finger. Nope. All right, I think we got it. That's... Maybe should I use this thing as like a prop? Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. There you go. There you go, folks. Scrapping on a hill. Look at the drums I found. And they're not drums, they're... De drums. De drum. De drum. Let's see what's over here. This pile has been ravaged, I think. Oh, look at that. A Cannondale bike bag. That's worth a couple of two, three, five dollars. And is that a swatch? Oh my God. I was just joking, but I think that actually is a swatch. Can you, can, can we focus on that? I guess not, but I think it's a swatch. All right. Anything else that the other pickers didn't find when they shredded these boxes? No. Some oil of Olay, maybe. Anything down here? Oh, those are fun. But we don't need those. Papers. The Peter Rabbit Nursery Set by Wedgwood. Box only slightly empty. Ooh, look at all this junk. I will, I'll. We're having contractions. We're studying contractions. Stop, ask, scream. 
gentle. <laughs> that doesn't sound gentle to me. Oh, here we go. Check this out. These are for bike tools. These are bike tools. Spoke wrench, chain tool, handlebar tape, more handlebar tape. And this thing is for holding your, uh, holding your brakes. And look, it's a tire lever. And check this out over here. I just found some tires on a bike and I had to take them off with my bare hands. See? I guess I found the stuff out of order. Anyway, anything else in here that we can't live without? No. Oh, wait. More fun junk. Soldering iron? I don't think I need that. Oh, I needed this the other day when I changed my oil. All right, let's put this stuff back where we got it at. And, uh, close up these nice people's box and then we can be uh, on our way but not until we look in this box which has that and Dan Fogelberg all right This was a first class pile and I appreciate it. We got enough clips. So I think we're gonna call this the last clip of the day. Look at this thing. AM FM cassette TV boombox thing. I think that's worth anything. Maybe. And I think the speakers might be in no, those aren't the speakers. Those are some sneakers. But I think what we really want here is this blue bike. No, we're not going to get it out the hard way. Do we really want this though? Would we be, oh, there's your thumbnail. But uh, would we be smart to take this bike or stupid? I don't know, I think we'll take it. We got room on the rack, I guess. And it's a nice color. It's a little crusty, but we, we can deal with that. So I guess that's that, folks. We've had a fun day, and I do appreciate you coming along and keeping me company. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. And uh, try not to be stupid. <laughs>